In this video, we will examine our current warming trend and put it into the very necessary long-term framework. Review of this data reaffirms that the origins of this warming began long before the first Model T drove to the corner grocery or any significant CO2 additions were being added via consumption of fossil fuels. We've seen in previous videos that human carbon dioxide emissions really didn't begin ramping up until the mid-20th century during the post-World War II economic boom. And it is that period, beginning in the mid-40s, when any postulated CO2-driven temperature rise could have begun. Here's a chart of the temperature data set that's most often used to promote the idea of a linkage between CO2 increases and the temperature rise over the last 150 years or so. It goes back to the year 1850. And by adding the CO2 emissions to it, it sure looks like a good correlation, yet correlation is not causation. By looking at this in a bit longer term perspective, that supposed correlation disappears. This is the Central England temperature data set. It's the longest continuous direct thermometer measurement and goes back to the year 1659. We see here that our current warming trend began in the late 17th century, the year 1695 to be exact, and in the depths of the horrifically cold Little Ice Age, which had some of the coldest temperatures of the last several thousand years. Bear in mind that the first 200 years of warming necessarily was entirely naturally driven with zero influence from any CO2-driven warming. Also, the initial 40 years of warming occurred at a rate several times that which occurred in the 20th century. This long-term trend of warming dating to the late 17th century is confirmed by many thousands of historical records. For example, the River Thames often froze over during the worst of the Little Ice Age, and the last time that occurred was 1814. Here's a chart showing a compilation of reconstructed temperature histories from 18 separate peer-reviewed studies that confirm that the period from 15th to the 17th century were the coldest in the last 2,000 years, and the welcome warming since then occurred long before man could have had any influence on the climate. The Ayatollahs of Alarmism expect you to gullibly believe that the natural forces driving temperature since the year 1695 suddenly cease sometime in the 20th century. That's not the way nature works, and it's not what the science tells us. Sorry, Al Gore. Sorry, Michael Mann. We're not that stupid, and we're not buying your lies any longer.